All right, hello again and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little different since you can't see my face. We are going to talk my personal EDC. Um, this video was inspired by my buddy Rodi's Plaid on Instagram. If you want to see some of his videos, uh, check out Plaid's channel right here on YouTube or Rodi's Plaid on Instagram. Alrighty, jumping right into it. My personal everyday carry. Now, this is a, there is a lot of opinions with everyday carry. Everyone's got one, and no two opinions really completely jive. So, this is not me telling you what you should carry. This is me telling you what I carry. If you want to share what you carry in the comments, cool. Please don't be rude. Please don't tell anyone they're doing it wrong because you're doing it wrong. There is no right way to do it. We're all wrong. Okay. So, first and foremost, first thing that is on me every single day, no matter where I go, because I'm a millennial. My phone. It's a phone, guys. It Call for help, text your wife, call mom, you know, do whatever. Next. Timepiece. Your phone isn't always going to work. It dies. I use, right now, I am wearing a Seiko, I forget the reference number offhand, it is a kind of a reissue of what Mac Vsog was wearing in Vietnam. It's not an exact replica, but it's pretty dang close, and I like it. It's also an automatic, so movement is the battery. Is it as precise as a quartz? No. Is it close enough to be a backup for my phone and look cool? Yes. So, there's that. Next, cutting tool. I carry one of two. A vintage, what do we got here? What are you, vintage imperial, four blade, well, one big blade. You got a can opener, your bottle opener, Sorry, trying to keep it in frame there. Your classic just jackknife. And a big old strip of rawhide for a lanyard. Don't get suckered into thinking you have to pay like a couple hundred bucks for a vintage collectible knife. This cost me $25 on Etsy. You just got to look around. The knife I carry far more often is this... Gerber Paraframe 1 that was like $16 at Walmart. So, I don't think that Gerber is like in some way superior. I'm not a Gerber fanboy. The reason I carry one of these is because I was getting ready to deploy way back in 2008. And we had a few minutes before it was time to go. So a bunch of us ran to the PX and I got some smokes uh, I think a monster, and I realized I needed a pocket knife. I grabbed the first thing I saw. I didn't even see what I really grabbed until I got back to the staging area. And it was just this El Cheapo Gerber. And not this exact knife. The original one I actually lost a few years ago. And I just replaced it because, you know what? It, oh, it cuts things. I'm not trying to be here fighting with my pocket knife like a lot of people do I open mail with this uh, I open snacks with this <laughs> it's a pocket knife guys let's not you know oh my god has to be super duper tactical your basic Swiss army knife is going to 95 times out of 100 be far more useful than the most super tactical fixed blade whatever okay so, next thing, should never leave without it, 
your wallet. This is a Buffalo Hide wallet. I don't know how well you can read that there. From Cabela's. Now, you would think it's just cheap. I've had this for around 10 years. And yeah, it's showing its age. But, you know what? It's still here. It still does what I need it to do. That's hold cards and cash. So, you know, don't be knocking on the, on the Cabela's wallets. Next, flashlight. Boop, boop. We got a Streamlight ProTac 2LX. Whoops. It helps if I keep it in frame. I'm sorry, guys. You're, you're actually balancing on a stairway right now, so... Super duper bright light. Now, a lot of people will champion having a weapon light. And that's great until you need to look at things but not point your gun at it. So, for everyday carry, I prefer a handheld light. That's just me. Well, again, what you do might be entirely different from what I do, and that is okay. Next up... Fire. Combustion devices. Now, my buddy Rody made a great point about Zippos and how they dry out in summer. My counter to that is every day I will open my Zippo up, get it ready to fill, and I've just made it a habit of getting fluid in there and counting six to eight Mississippi seconds. That, even on the hottest, driest summer day where I am in the Midwest, is going to last you at least 24 hours. You know, I can't speak for South Texas or, or, or Arizona or Iraq or wherever you happen to be watching this. But in the Midwest, six to eight seconds of fluid in a Zippo, it, it'll last for 24 hours. If you're out longer than 24 hours and your Zippo dies and you absolutely need fire right now, Bic. It, redundancies. It never hurts to have them. Bad habits. Don't do it, but I do it. That's enough of that. So, one other thing I carry that is very, very out of the norm. Candy. A lot of people, especially on Instagram, will joke that, you know, a, an A2 stock can fit twice as many Skittles as a Sop Mod stock. You know, it, it's all funny jokes until you're a type 2 diabetic. Emergency M&Ms are a very real thing. So, I try to keep some on me. I prefer the peanut M&Ms, but, you know, whatever. This is what I had handy right now. That's what's in the video. Wow, there's a lot of stuff I'm carrying so far. When are we going to get to the gun? Not yet. Water. Drink it. I, uh, a Nalgene bottle, not necessarily this red one, but a one liter, 32 ounce, whatever Nalgene bottle is with me all the time. I freak out when I lose it. Always, always, always have water and drink it. Now the gun. My carry piece, as I fumble, is a Springfield mil spec 1911. Are there better guns? There are objectively better guns to carry than this. But you know what? I like this, and that's why I carry it. I could do a whole video on why and 45 versus 9, but I'm not going to because it's not going to change anyone's opinion. Carry a gun you're comfortable with. I am the most comfortable with a 1911. I shoot a Glock the best, but I like this the best. Now that said... Pretty soon here, I'm going to have some leather coming in from Milt Sparks for a high power. So things might get changed up a little bit. 
on that note what am i carrying that in right now this time of year a milt sparks summer special 2. this is a nice little inside the waistband holster and for the 1911 as well as select models of glock they are kept in stock so you don't have to wait however long their current lead time is to get one of these ammo is in chip mccormick magazines for the longest time i championed wilson combat magazines i have found that i like these chip mccormick's better uh, right now i've got a mix of i think spear gold dot and federal hst this ammo is old and needs to get replaced um i have found recently that um Sig V Crown is in stock and I've read good things about it. So I'm probably going to switch over to that just so I have some newer carry ammo. Um, does it matter? Probably not. You know, oh, it only penetrated this far in ballistic gel. It must be useless. That's not how this works. So just don't carry full metal jacket unless it's like the apocalypse and you literally don't have anything else that that's really the big takeaway here and those magazines ride in the milt sparks s4c magazine carriers they're an outside the waistband one-way snap i've got two of them i just only felt like taking one off And alternately for winter, because I am a firm believer in outside the waistband carry whenever I can, a Milt Sparks 55BN, which stands for Bruce Nelson, the original designer of this style of holster. Outside the waistband, very, very comfy. Metal reinforced mouth on both of these, actually. I don't know what me squeezing them does for you, but you know, it makes me feel better about the video. And that is it. This is the stuff I keep on me all the time. We are going to continue this almost like a series. Next would be uh, like a day pack kind of setup. What I keep in my day pack if I'm going to be gone literally all day. Um, we will get to that when we get to it. I've got some ideas going for that, you know, rounding things up, blah, blah, blah. But this is what I've got for my everyday carry. I'd really, I'd, I'd like to hear what you guys carry every day. Put it down in the comments. I'm not going to try to change your mind. Don't try to change my mind. I just think it's kind of cool to discuss what we carry as individual and what leads us to these choices. Now, one thing that you might notice, there is no tourniquet here. In fact, there's no medical at all here unless you want to count the M&Ms as medical. <laughs> and that is because I don't wear cargo shorts all the time. I don't wear car cargo pants all the time, and I cannot comfortably carry medical. Now, here's the thing. If it's not comfortable to do, you're not going to do it. It's like picking a gun you like that feels good to shoot, that's fun to shoot, because then you're going to shoot it more. If you get a gun that you don't like, you're not going to shoot it as much. It's the same thing with your EDC. If you're not comfortable, you're not going to do it. My medical is in my day pack. That's why I've got it. We'll go over that in the day pack video, but I don't carry it on my person. Now, some people are going to think, I'm going to get kilts in the streets for that. Well... Um, I'm still here. So there's that. Yes, I understand the logic. It's just not something I do. So again, I'd like to hear your thoughts and what you carry. And that's, uh, that's about all I've really got right now. So have, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video, like, and share and subscribe and all that. As always, if you want to stay the most up to date with my just utter nonsense, pipe.guy on Instagram. Don't forget to check out my buddy, 
uh, Plaid's channel on YouTube and Rody's Plaid on Instagram. And have a great day. There we go. Got it.